Hello friends, welcome to our channel. In today's video, I will discuss about dropsy, a bacterial disease in fishes. So, what is dropsy? Dropsy, also known as pine cone disease, is a serious bacterial infection that can affect many different types of eatable fishes, ornamental fishes including goldfish, betta fish, and angelfish, among others. The disease is caused by the buildup of fluid inside the fish's body, which causes the scales to protrude, giving the fish a pinecone-like appearance. What causes dropsy? The primary cause of dropsy is a bacterial infection, ammonia or nitrite spike, often associated with poor water quality or stress on the fish's immune system. Fish that are overcrowded, fed an unhealthy diet, or kept in unclean water conditions are particularly susceptible to dropsy. Symptoms of dropsy includes Swelling of the abdomen Eyes that are beginning to swell and bulge Scales that starting to point outward instead of lying flush with their body giving a pine cone appearance A loss of color in their gills Clamping of the fins a curve developing in their spine. Pale feces. Swelling near their anus. A lack of energy and movement. Loss of appetite. Difficulty swimming. If left untreated, the disease can be fatal, as the fish's organs can become damaged as the infection spreads. Now I will be discussing a case study on dropsy conducted in India on Indian major carps also called IMCs. In India among IMCs, Catla fish is most susceptible to dropsy of 41.66%, then Rohu of 31.49% and Mrigal of 26.66%. Most causative agent for dropsy in India is Aeromonas hydrophila, it is a gram-negative bacteria. Now we will discuss on preventions and treatment for dropsy. Treatment for dropsy in fish typically involves a combination of different approaches to address the underlying bacterial infection and improve the fish's overall health. Here are some steps that can be taken. First point, quarantine. If a fish is showing symptoms of dropsy, it should be immediately isolated from the rest of the fishes in the tank to prevent the spread of infection. Second point, improve water quality. Dropsy is often caused by poor water quality, so it's essential to ensure that the water in the tank is clean and well maintained. Regular water changes and the use of a good quality filter can help remove excess waste and maintain healthy water conditions. Third point, medication. Antibiotics such as oxytetracycline or sulfamerazine can be mixed to fish feed and continued for 5 days to 2 thrice a day. Also benzalconium chloride, BKC 80%, can be mixed with water in a proportion ratio. This dosage should be prescribed by a veterinarian or an aquatic specialist and used as directed. Fourth point, salt baths. Soaking the affected fish in a solution of sea raw salt and water can help reduce swelling and improve the fish's overall health. However, it's important to follow a specific procedure when doing this as too much salt can be harmful to the fish. Fifth point, a proper bath with potassium permanganate solutions can be applied. Sixth point, improve nutrition. Feeding a balanced and nutritious diet can help improve the fish's overall health and support its immune system. Some fish owners may choose to feed their fish medicated food to help treat the infection. It's important to note that dropsy can be a serious and often fatal condition and treatment may not always be successful. Fish owners should take steps to prevent dropsy by maintaining a clean 
and healthy tank and providing their fish with the proper nutrition and care. There is no reliable treatment available in advanced stage of this disease. There is one more query people may have. Can dropsy be treated by herbs? The answer is not directly. There are no herbs that can directly cure dropsy in fish. There are some natural remedies that can help to support the overall health of the fish and potentially reduce the risk of dropsy. Epsom salt. Adding Epsom salt to the water can help to reduce inflammation and swelling in the fish's body. Garlic. Garlic has natural antibacterial properties that can help to prevent infections in fish. You can crush a clove of garlic and add it to the tank or use a garlic-based product designed for aquatic use. Indian Almond Leaves Indian almond leaves have antifungal, antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties. They can be added to the water and left in for weeks. Neem Leaves Also known as Ajadirachta Indica, is a tree native to India and the Indian subcontinent. It has been used for centuries in traditional medicine to treat a variety of ailments, including dropsy. Hope you like these informations. To support our channel, please like, share and subscribe. Hope to see you again.